Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back. So in the last tutorial we just finished creating the remove item function and so the remove item function takes up all of this code right here. So all of that up to this point right here, this is all the remove item function. So it turned out to be kind of a big function compared to the other ones that we've made for the hash table project. So now that we've coded all of the cases that go into the remove item function, let's go ahead and test it. So let's go ahead and go to hash.h and before I go any further I wanted to point something out that I noticed in between making videos is I used to have a function right around this area called find drink that I made a few tutorials back and it's not there anymore and it's not in my hash.cpp file either and I think the reason for that is I just forgot to save both of those files so it's not that big of a deal if you guys are wondering why it's not there, I think I just forgot to save it and that's why it's missing. But it shouldn't affect our ability to test the remove item function. So now let's go ahead and test the remove item function. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change our table size to 4. And that's just going to help us to test each of the cases that go into the remove item function. So let's go ahead now and go to our main.cpp file. And notice I have an error here because I'm trying to call the find drink function and uh, the find drink function doesn't exist anymore. So you probably still have the find drink function in your programs, so this shouldn't throw an error for you. But since I didn't save mine, I have an error here. So that's all that is. So we're just going to go ahead and change this code to the remove item function because that's the one we want to test in this video. And instead of searching for, we're trying to remove an item. So we'll go ahead and type remove here for the prompt. So we're going to remove something. So the first thing we probably want to do is we probably want to go ahead and print the table. So let's use our hash class object, which was hashy, and we'll go ahead and call the print table function. So we can see what kind of hash table we're dealing with with a table size of four. And then we'll go ahead and remove a few items and test a few cases. And then uh, after that's done, let's go ahead and print the table one more time just so we can check to make sure that it did what we wanted it to do. So let's go ahead and run this program. Okay, so here are the results now. So here's index 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then it asks us to remove. So we have a table size of 4. We have 4 indexes or 4 buckets. Let's go ahead and try to test case 0, 1, 2, 3.1 and 3.2 since those are all the cases that I outlined in the remove item function. So let's go ahead and test case 1 now. Case 1 is the case where we're trying to remove a single item in a bucket. It's the only item in that bucket. So it looks like a good candidate would be to try to remove Kim. She's the only one inside of index 1 or bucket 1. So we can type in Kim and we'll just test that to make sure that that works. So we say remove Kim and it says Kim was removed from the hash table. So case one seems to be working. So now let's test case zero. So case zero was the case where we're trying to remove an item from a bucket, but that bucket doesn't contain any information. That bucket is empty. So we just removed Kim and she was the only one in index one. So that means the index one should be empty. So one way we could test case zero is try to remove Kim again. So let's try to remove Kim, and this time we should get a message saying that Kim was not found in the hash table. So this is testing case zero now. So we're trying to remove Kim, and we get the message Kim was not found in the hash table. So it looks like case one and case zero are both working now. So we can also test case two now. So case two was the case where we're trying to remove an item from the hash table, and that item is the very first item in a list of two or more. We can look inside index two, we have five items in that bucket. So the very first item it says is Paul. So if we try to remove Paul, then that would be testing case two. So let's go ahead and try to remove Paul so we can test case two. And it says Paul was removed from the hash table. So now if we type exit, then it will exit this while loop that we're running right now. And it should print the updated results. So we'll type in exit. And so now we get a new printing of the hash table here. So if we notice index one, which used to hold Kim, now says that it's empty and it contains zero items. So that seems to be working fine. And then also index two now only contains four items because we deleted Paul from index two. And now it shows that Mike is the new first item. 
So it looks like cases 0, 1, and 2 are all working correctly. So I'm going to press enter to close the terminal. And now let's go ahead and test cases 3.1 and 3.2. So actually before I close the terminal, we want to make note that index 2, when we first run the program, had five items. It has four now that I've deleted one of them. But when we rerun the program, Kim will be back in index 1, Paul will be back in index 2, and so we'll have 1 and 5 here. What we're going to do to test cases 3.1 and 3.2 is we're just going to look deeper into index 2. So let's go ahead and press enter to close the terminal. And instead of the print table function here, I'm going to call the print items and index function, and we're going to look into index 2. And we'll go ahead and test cases 3.1 and 3.2 by looking into index 2. So we'll copy this, and we'll just paste it over top of this part right here. And so now let's go ahead and run the program one more time. So now we're getting into a deeper look into index 2. So when we first run the program, index 2 contains those five items, and we can see them all right here. So let's go ahead and test case 3.2 now. So case 3.2, we are trying to remove somebody from a list that contains two or more items, and that person is not the very first person in the list. So let's just go ahead and try to remove Susan and see what happens. So we're going to try to remove Susan. And it says Susan was removed from the hash table. So it looks like case 3.2 is working. Now let's test case 3.1. So case 3.1 is the case where we have more than one item in a bucket, and we're trying to remove somebody from that bucket who is not there. We could test this now by trying to remove Susan a second time, and this time it should tell us that Susan is not found in the hash table. So we'll try to remove Susan one more time, and we get the message that Susan was not found in the hash table. So it looks like cases 3.2 and 3.1 both work. So now when I go ahead and type exit, it should show all of these people except for Susan. Susan should be missing. So we'll go ahead and push enter now, and it reprints the list, and notice that Susan is no longer in there. So it looks like cases 3.2 and 3.1 both work. So now we have tested cases 0, 1, 2, 3.1, and 3.2. So it looks like our remove item function is working correctly now. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to leave comments. And if there's any other topics you want me to cover, I'll go ahead and consider those if you leave comments on those. And I'll try to cover the things that you guys want me to cover. Thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.